So yeah, I puked once already before we ever started. And um, like a true soldier, me and Beyonce, I kept drinking. And I'm gonna make this night happen. Cause you're a hero. I'm a soldier. Talking about two heroes. Cause I'm a soldier, yes. Well, let's cheers to Ella. To Ella! Ella Fitzgerald, my baby girl, and my home girl. She's from Newport News and I'm from Virginia Beach. Your home girl too, Tidewater, Hampton Roads. One more cheers. Boom, our baby. I didn't understand anything Here's you just said. to our baby, Ella. Ella. Baby girl. I think I might throw up again. Hello, my name is Timberly Hill. And today, we're gonna talk about Ella Fitzgerald and Marilyn Monroe. Cheers. Ella Fitzgerald, she's the queen of song. Nobody sings better than Ella Fitzgerald. So, Ella's on the Chitlin Circuit. She's killing it everywhere. Chitlin Circuit is for anybody who's black that performs. Now let's talk about the Macombo. Can we really quickly? The Macombo is a place where and Frank Sinatra debuted in the 40s. This is a place where Lana Turner, Charlie Chaplin, Cary Grant, this was the hot spot, and you couldn't do it bigger, except they do not want to let her in. And they're like, rah, 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 she's too black, she's too chubby, she's too ugly. Ah, oh, shit and and all kinds of shit and piss. Oh, that's it? okay, I, um, Scotch Guard. A Scotch Guard like a mother I can keep it going, I can keep it going. What was the last sentence she said? Her, the last thing, oh, oh, okay. Oh, so, 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 so. Marilyn Monroe, she's huge. People didn't get it. And they were like, can't you just be our hot thing with no clothes on, with her dress blowing up that we love so much? And she was like, no, I can't. I wanna do some real acting. So, Marilyn Monroe goes into her voice teacher. She says, I wanna be a triple threat. I wanna do everything. I'm taking this class in acting, I'm doing these dancing classes, blah, blah, blah. You are my man for the voice. Her voice coach says, if you want to learn how to sing, buy Ella Fitzgerald's album. She gets this record. She lays down on the floor and listens to this record a hundred times in a row. She goes, this is the most astonishing voice I've ever heard in my life. She calls them a combo and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, Marilyn Monroe, what the f And she's like, bring it all down. If you let my favorite, my favorite baby girl jump on stage and sing her songs, I will show up and I will sit in the, <laughs> and I will sit in the front row of the audience every single night and you can take as many pictures of me as you want. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're very excited. I am, I love these two, and I've known this story forever. <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald, she gets a phone call, and they're saying, we would love to have you at the Macomba. <laughs> what the f are we talking about right now? He's like, somebody made a phone call. Somebody named Marilyn Monroe. Boom! So she's like, Marilyn, I don't know Marilyn Monroe. Like, what are we saying? You know, like she didn't know anything about that. You okay? Yes, yeah, so I just have weird hiccups and a lot of catch breaths. Ella shows up in the Macombo and Marilyn takes a front row center table. The lights go down. Ella walks out onto the stage and then boom, it comes out of her voice. <laughs> And then people are uh, going crazy. And one person is like, I didn't even know music could sound like that. And then Marilyn was like, I've heard these songs before, but I never heard them. What is going on right now? Like, I can't even understand my own mind. That is a human voice singing to us. And Marilyn, true to her word, shows up every single night, and she sits in the front row. One night after Ella performed, uh, Marilyn came backstage. So, so, um, it's just two girls talking about what real life is like. Marilyn was like, ah, oh, you know, I'm a f***ing orphan. And, uh, what's her name? Ella is like, I'm a f 
an orphan too. Then Marilyn's like, I had two marriages. And Ella's like, oh my god, I was married to somebody when I was really young. And then I married another guy. And then Marilyn was like, I cannot be accepted in this business because of the way that I look. And Ella's like, I cannot be accepted in this business because of the way that I look. And these two women, they literally need each other. Because Marilyn or Lois, Marilyn and Marilyn Monroe, 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 Marilyn. In this moment that Marilyn helps Ella, she frees them both. The fact is, sometimes sisters have to hook each other up. Mm -hmm. And when Marilyn passes away, because they stayed friends, Ella Fitzgerald said, I owe Marilyn a great debt. After she personally called the managers of the Macombo Room and allowed me to play there, I was never, ever, ever, ever again in my life relegated to a small club. She says Marilyn was extraordinary and ahead of her time. She loved that lady.